Uh, when did you find out that you were nominated and how did it feel? Um, I found out while I was in the queue to get back into the country, um, i.e. Heathrow. Uh, and uh, I, was really, I was really amazed actually. I, in fact, it didn't really hit me straight away uh, until we were talking about the implications and, and, having, and having been nominated twice mm. and how that felt. And people are writing me messages like, two out of two, congratulations. And this, you know, I, I was really cool. Amazing, because obviously history has proven that um, a Mercury nomination takes an artist to the next level. Obviously you've already had that, where do you expect this one to take you from here? Well, the next level, presumably. I don't <laughs> know what, what level that is. Uh, boss level. Do you have any preconceptions about where you'll be this time next year? Or? <laughs> Hopefully in my flat. Uh, <laughs> drinking a cup of tea. Yeah. Not, not stressing too much about things and... and uh, Allowing myself to listen to music, go out and experience music and, you know, probably inform the next record. Excellent. Um, what are your opinions on the rest of the shortlist and who are your personal favourites to win? Um, personal favourites to win... If I lost to David Bowie, I'm not going to complain, you know. Yeah. Uh, I'm really, really glad he's in the running and, and um, I really like his album uh, and I really like his videos. Um, and the longevity of an artist is really important to me and, and people like that who can keep reinventing and, and making great music till the end, you know, is, is my, that's my ambition. Um, and he's nowhere near that point, you know, he's, you know, he's, he's, you know, feels like he's got endless bloody albums in him, so really amazing to see that. Um, and uh, Laura, I'd love to, I'd love to uh, congratulate and um, Laura Marling. Yeah, I would have liked to see Matt Kimby's record uh, make it. I think they've um, they've made a record now that really represents electronic music and what can be done um, within that medium. But also, it's, it's a beautiful, emotional record, and and um, and their voices sound great on it. Uh, they've made the transition from producing to singing uh, in a really kind of effortless way, I think.